everyone and welcome to my channel I hope that you are uh, beginning your week in a wonderful way so today we're gonna talk about uh, ICAD 2021 remember that it stands for index corner day and this is the third week and this uh, challenge is happening from June 1st through July 31st so today I'm gonna share seven cards and I'm gonna tell you how he created each one of them and I'm going to show you the supplies that I used for uh, my cards okay so let's start this is the first card and uh, this image that you see over here uh, it's a hand-drawn image because I've been challenging myself this year to learn how to draw so that's what I did with this one of course when I'm using uh, watercolors or acrylic paint like in this case I first go with a, a layer of a gesso on top of my card because the index card cards are uh, very thin so I try to protect my paper so I can work uh, better and nicely on my projects so for this one what I used are my Artisa watercolor pe uh, pencils beautiful colors and then I just use those uh, water brush pens and that's all I did with this one and I think it looks super yummy and beautiful okay then for my second card I used uh, this stamp and uh, uh, let me show you because I didn't have them over here but I'm going to show you the stamp this is a stamp that I've had on my stash, super beautiful, and uh, here is the information for that one. And if I'm not wrong, I got this at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago, but I think the image says tons, right? So I just wanted to create something different in this card, so I went with a, um, a piece of an old book page, and I glue it randomly, then went on top with my gesso, I also used some gold acrylic paint over here if you see and then I stamped my image in brown ink and I just used my uh, distress ink in all the border then my black marker to create this stitched uh, border and uh, I just added this craft cardstock uh, banners over here and I used my uh, markers to create the polka dots and I um, used my mini stapler to attach them over here and then I used these uh, stamps this alphabet stamp to create the quote that says be wise so this is my second card and then I created this other one and it says it's okay to float along it's okay to just be and I love a jellyfish and all I did was to use my Prismacolor pencils and created the image nothing fancy or complicated and I think it looks super beautiful and then for this border and the polka dots I use my glitter markers okay then I created this other one and this is super super beautiful and for this one I used my Jane Davenport uh, watercolor set and as always remember that because of the shades that you get in these uh, uh, palettes you need to create your own color so it is so much fun and uh, I didn't have any stamp or anything I just hand drew them and then went on top with my uh, watercolors and I think this one looks super adorable and thank you Dorothy for the uh, suggestion uh, she told me that this is so beautiful that I should make copies and create um, cards or just frame it thank you for your support my friend I hope you have a nice day and then I created this other one and um, last year I created uh, one of these vans in green and it was so much fun because it is like a box and I love this van so I wanted to give it a try and I uh, hand drew it and then went on top with my Prisma colors and I think it looks super adorable 
and over here I just use my Posca pen for the border and this is my handwriting so yes super cute and then I created this other one and who doesn't love rainbows and unicorns right so this one was a lot of fun to create because I used acrylic paint and I went just randomly putting all the colors and trying to blend them all together and the, this one looks super adorable i love 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 the background and then the images come from this stamp set and let me take it out of the bag this is a gorgeous stainer designs over here and if you see i used this one this one and this one okay the three of them and then for the sentiment over here, I used another stamp of unicorns, but I couldn't find it. So I'm sorry for that, but I can tell you that that is a stamp that I got at Michael's. It, it was uh, one of the recollections uh, unicorn stamp sets, okay? And then my last card for today is this one. And uh, for this, what I did is again using an old book page and I put it as the background and then went on top with my gesso. And then I hand drew the radishes and uh, used the other Jane Davenport um, watercolor set. And I think this one looks super, super cute. I love radishes, not only because they look amazing, but they taste great. I love them. So this is my share for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in this challenge, you can visit Daisy Yellow Art either on Instagram or here on YouTube. She's the host of this challenge. She has a lot of uh, tutorials and videos and you can learn from her a lot. But in the meantime, please take care. Remember to smile subscribe if you haven't and like this video uh, that, that is very helpful share it with your friends and um, see you soon bye